we've seen order of operations many, many times already, but um, hopefully by this time you guys really have it down pat, but we probably should go over it just one more time just to make sure that everybody understands. Remember, your uh, mnemonic device for remembering order of operations is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The P represents parentheses and grouping symbols. The E represents exponents. M and D represent multiplication and division left to right. Remember, neither one is more important than the other one. So if all we have is multiplication and division, then we always do it left to right, even if the division comes before the multiplication in the series. It has to be done left to right. Addition and subtraction are very similar. Uh, we always do those left to right last, and neither one is more important than the other one. So you do not go through and do all the addition and then all the subtraction. That's not the way this works. It is addition and subtraction as you see it left to right. Um, in this section, we're just going to be doing order of operations problems. And all we have done here is we've added in positive and negative numbers. So let's see what we have first. Our first example it says negative 12 plus 6 divided by 3. Well, if you'll notice, we have an addition and we also have a division. Division comes before addition in order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You may have to keep saying that to yourself. So we're going to do the 6 divided by 3 first, which is 2 and then recopy everything else. Now we have negative 12 plus 2. This is now just an addition problem. Whenever we're working with integers, remember your rules. You can't forget anything that you've learned up to this point. When our rules say when we are adding or subtracting integers, if the signs are different, then we subtract, in this case would be 10, and keep the sign of the bigger number. Since 12 is bigger than 2, our answer would be negative 10. Next example says 8 plus negative 4 is quantity squared. Well, remember, parentheses comes first. And if we look here, we have parentheses and we also have brackets, so that's another grouping symbol. Whenever we have multiple grouping symbols within each other, we always work our way from the inside out of the problem. In this case, our parentheses, negative 4, there's really nothing to do there. So we have to like now step back and say 8 plus negative 4. We're going to have to do that first since it's inside this grouping symbol. So 8 and a negative 4, remember our signs are different, so we would subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. And now I'm going to recopy everything else. I only do one um, operation or one thing at a time and then recopy so that you don't make as many mistakes as possible. So now we have 4 squared and when we square something that means to multiply it to itself. So 4 squared would be 16. Our next example says 8 times 6 minus 3 times 5 plus a negative 20. Well, in this case, we have two different multiplications. We have a subtraction and an addition of a negative number. Lots of different things going on there. If you need to, go through and say, okay, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses first. There is nothing to do inside these parentheses. This negative 20 is just a number. So then we would say, well, what about E, exponents? There are none. Next comes multiplication and division left to right. We have two different multiplications here, so we work them left to right. 8 times 6 would be 48, and then 3 times 5 would be 15. I'm recopying everything else. Now I just have addition and subtraction, but remember when I said we don't do addition first. These are equivalent operations, so we would just work them left to right as we see them. The 48 minus 15 would be 33, and then I'm recopying everything else. Now I've got 33 and a negative 20, so we are adding opposite signs, which means we subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. 